Hi everyone, welcome back to another Monday Makeup Lesson. Last week we talked about eye brushes, which I will link in the description box, and today we're going to talk about face brushes. So the very first one is a flat foundation brush, and these are kind of the old, faithful flat foundation brushes, and when I first started with makeup, it was the very first brush that I bought, and I love these for so many different reasons. First of all, for beginners, they're really easy to work with. You're basically just going to paint on your foundation. It's so simple. If you've got dry skin, also make sure that all the flakes lie flat. If you've got little hairs on your face that you're a little bit worried about, you can just kind of paint in the direction of the hairs and it makes them lie flat. But you can also use it around your lip line to fix up your lipstick. Or if you've kind of messed up in your eyeshadow or your eyeliner, you can fix it by kind of rolling it. This is what I do. I put a little bit of concealer on the tip and then I just roll it upwards and it gives you like a perfect, perfect line. Next up we have kabuki brushes and these are dense, fibred, quite short type of brushes. You can usually do this if you have a good one and it will stay and that's how you know if it moves like this and falls against itself it's not a good one. And they actually come from a Japanese type of drama, um, theatrical makeup, where it was quite heavily applied. So you get a full coverage with this type of brush. Like you literally just stipple it on and you keep building up the coverage until you get quite full coverage. Or if you want to go a little bit lighter, you can swirl on and you get a really nice sheer amount of flawless coverage across the skin. It's amazing. It's one of my favorite brushes. I use it almost every single day to apply my makeup, especially when I have my kind of acne flare-ups, when I need to really, really cover stuff. I use this brush. It's awesome. And you can also use the edge of this brush to do your contour, and you can apply your powder with it over the top to seal in your makeup. And I also apply a little bit of my blush and everything. It's like an everything type of brush. And this is the F22, which is a rounder topped one, which is quite popular as well. The main thing is that you don't want to work the foundation right in here. You just want to get it onto the tip because that's where you get a beautiful, flawless airbrush look. As long as you just keep the foundation on the tip of the brush and swirl or kind of stick it into the skin. It also comes in an angle brush as well, which I think is really handy if you're getting right under here. So if you're a fan of applying cream bronzers or even powder bronzers, it doesn't really matter, an angled one is great for you. And getting right underneath the eyes with some concealer, it's awesome. Any of these brushes are just phenomenal. Next up I have a dual fiber brush and it's dual meaning two because it's made up of, you've guessed it, two types of fibers. Similar to a kabuki brush at the bottom so it's quite dense fibers and then at the top you have this sort of a little bit sheer lighter type of um, fibers running up through the middle and this catches the pigments especially for powders, mineral powders and it really kind of blends it over the skin quite lightweight and sheer but with this one which is a smaller kind of um, denser one you can actually get a very full coverage with this so if I want full coverage concealer underneath my eyes I will use this. Sometimes I apply my entire foundation with this. So those are the most common brushes to apply your foundation with. Next week we're going to talk about powder brushes and there are certain powder brushes that you can use to apply your foundation as well so make sure you check back for that and to make sure to subscribe so that you guys can see every Monday makeup lesson because soon I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually use the brushes and how to build up your own kit depending on your own personal preferences. So I hope to see you guys next Monday. Make sure to check back on Wednesday and Friday for more tutorials and I will see you guys then. Bye!